It's Becca from, from Gardeners to Burgers blog and from Weatherwood Stain. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you about a piece I'm really excited about um, because I feel like it's given it a, a super custom look what I've done. So it's just a Target console table that was like $160 new and what I've done is I've chalk painted the bottom and now I'm working on a real wood top um, that I've custom built for the piece and it's made out of hard maple. So what I've done is um, I've attached the new top and I've stained it with Weatherwood, which is awesome because um, Weatherwood it on hard maple is like a beautiful driftwood gray. Um, so it looks really, really pretty. Um, but because the piece is in kind of a dark corner of our house, I thought that lightening it a little bit would be great. So what I did was um, I'm using Miss Mustard Seeds wax and it's a tinted wax, um, it's her white one. And so it's, it's turning out really pretty so I just wanted to share with you what I'm doing, okay? So what I have is my wax brush and I just get a little bit of wax on kind of the tip of my wax brush. And then I'm going to work the wax into the wood in the direction that the grain runs. So in my case, it's like this. But if you want to come in and just lighten the wood just a little, maybe you're just looking for something a little different, um, you can take your wax brush or uh, if you don't have one, that's okay. You can use, um, you know, an inexpensive chip brush and get a similar look. So you just want to apply it in the direction of the grain. You don't need a lot of pressure. Uh, you just want to get good coverage. Once the product's been applied, uh, you just want to wait a couple of minutes. The wood's going to absorb as much product as it can. And then in three to five minutes, we are going to come back and we're going to wipe the wood surface. Okay guys, we're back. So we've let this beautiful um, white wax do its job. Um, the wood has absorbed whatever it could. Now I have a clean rag, just a, a cotton t-shirt that I cut up. And I'm just gonna come and rub off any excess. I wanna make sure that I get any of the wax that's sitting on top of the wood surface um, because if you don't pick that up now, it can become tacky or feel, um, feel kind of gross over time. So you can see um, that you still can see the wood green because her wax is just lightly pigmented. Um, she does a really great job. Um, but you can see that it just gives you like a, maybe a tone, a shade or two difference, I'd call it. And it's a really beautiful combo. But um, I'll take pictures when it's done and it's gonna be super pretty, I can already tell. 